Paul, I wanted to have you on because I think you can really uh, give a great insight to our viewers and listeners out there on two different guys that are going in two different directions right now. Mario Balotelli right now, to me, the honeymoon is over. And while back, the honeymoon is in full swing and not uh, looking like it's going to end. Let's talk about Balotelli. We know his problems away from the pitch and his attitude. But listening to some of the reports, Roger says his attitude uh, has been okay. What have you heard and what do you think about Balotelli early on? Well, I mean, ultimately, he's the number one striker for Liverpool. So whatever you look at it, however you want to consider it, you've got to look at the number of goals he scores. And right now, you know, I mean, I think it's two goals in 18 Premier League appearances, you know, dating back to his time with Manchester City. And, and I mean, you're, you're dealing with a team and a fan base that's still looking at it through the prism of we had Suarez last year. You know, the, the footballers, the PFA Player of the Year, the Football Writers Player of the Year, you know, arguably one of the, one of the top three strikers in, in the world last year. And really, you know, as many goals he scored, uh, which was up in the, the 30 on Veron's there, he set up at another 15. I mean, he was a, he was probably the most complete striking or, or forward in the Premier League team since Henri was in his prime in terms of not just scoring goals but creating them as well. Um, and Balotelli, I mean, when you when you when you throw that statistic there, when you say two goals in, in 18 Premier League games, it's just not good enough. I mean, what are what are the fans saying out there? Are, have they already given up on this experiment? Uh, are, are they wanting to move on from this? Or are they still giving him a little bit more time? Well, I think a lot of it was to do with the fact that, I mean, Rodgers has had a pretty good ride as, as Liverpool boss. Uh, but a lot of that's to do with Suarez, who was, you know, don't forget, was, was signed by Kenny Dalglish at the same time as they signed uh, Andy Carroll. Um, so, I mean, you know, Suarez has, when Suarez is on song and Suarez is playing well, he has the ability to look, make any team, you know, look good. And, you know, he made Daniel Sturridge look very good. And not that Daniel Sturridge isn't a good player by himself, but uh, having playing with those two alongside each other, they were, their, their skills, and I know they didn't get along per se, but I mean, on the field, their skills complemented each other very well. And, uh, you know, Suarez was provider as much as he was uh, a goal scorer himself.